All best farming methods in pets go. Roblox. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we're diving into the best and most efficient farming methods in pets go. So buckle up and get ready for some serious farming tips. If you're looking to farm both actively and passively, AFK, this guide has you covered. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for insane luck in all your pets go. Adventures. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty. Actively farming in pets geo. If you're an active player, you're likely looking for the most efficient ways to farm during gameplay. The strategies we're covering are designed to help you maximize your loot while playing. So, let's get started. 1. Boost Setup Before you even start farming, it's important to ensure you have the correct boosts active. Here's what you should aim for. Breakables Potion, Max Tier 2 Items Potion, Max Tier 3 Lucky Potion, Tier 5 Coins Potion, Tier 5 Walk Speed Potion, Tier 3 Faster Rolls Potion all five types of fruits and rainbow fruits active. With these boosts, you'll be well equipped to farm efficiently. Not only will you be moving faster, but you'll also break more objects, collect more items, and rack up potions and fruits in no time. 2. The hoverboard and auto clicker combo. One of the most efficient methods for active farming is using an auto clicker with your hoverboard in first person view. By running in circles with your auto clicker on, you'll be able to click on everything in front of you automatically, breaking objects at lightning speed. Here's why this works. When you break smaller breakables, they respawn faster as bigger items. By constantly breaking everything, you ensure a continuous flow of high-value breakables and boosts. The more you break, the more rewards you collect. Pro tip, don't just focus on big breakables. The smaller ones break instantly, so prioritize them to increase the spawn rate of more valuable breakables. 3. The third-person camera trick. This method takes farming to the next level. Switch to third-person view and adjust your camera so it's perfectly level with the ground. This way, when you break an object, your auto clicker will immediately target the next breakable behind it. It's a little tricky to get used to, but it allows you to break objects even faster than in first-person mode. Warning, this method can be hard on your eyes due to the camera angle, but it's incredibly efficient for those looking to farm breakables quickly. AFK Farming Methods For those who want to farm while away from the keyboard, we've got a couple of tried and true methods that will allow you to gather resources even while you sleep. 1. The Tiny Task Method Tiny Task is an incredibly useful tool that automates your farming process. Here's how it works. Set up your camera to be level with the ground, just like in the third-person active farming method. Use an auto clicker in conjunction with tiny task, which constantly presses your arrow key to move you in a circle. By doing this, you'll keep breaking objects all night long without needing to manually control your character. This is especially effective because boosts and fruits don't dup on, meaning you'll return to a mountain of loot in the morning. 2. Auto Farming and Hatching while you're auto-farming, you can also auto-hatch pets to maximize your efficiency. Set tiny task to keep spinning you in a circle while your auto-clicker breaks objects, and by the time you wake up, you'll have gathered an insane number of potions, fruits, and other rewards. Remember, you don't need to worry about collecting the loot immediately. As you circle back around, all the items you missed will still be there for you to grab. Efficient Potion Crafting now that you've farmed tons of potions and fruits, let's talk about how to use them effectively. 1. Potion Crafting Tips When crafting potions, it's important to prioritize which ones to upgrade first. Here's a quick breakdown of what to focus on. Instaluck 3 is your goal potion. It takes a lot of smaller potions to craft, but the rewards are worth it. Golden Dice and Rainbow Dice are essential for crafting Instaluck potions, so don't waste them on lower tier upgrades. Avoid upgrading potions past Lucky 3 unless you're specifically aiming to craft dice potions or insta-luck potions. You'll need Lucky 3 potions to craft other dice potions, and upgrading them too far will prevent you from doing so. 2. Maximizing your insta-luck When you have enough resources to craft insta-luck 3 potions, hold off on using them until you're ready to pop a cocktail potion. The combination of a cocktail potion with multiple Instaluck 3s can give you a huge boost in rewards, increasing your chances of hatching rare pets or getting high-value loot. Farming Potions and Upgrades 
If you're serious about farming, knowing which potions to focus on is key. Always prioritize Instaluck 3s and make sure you have enough lower tier potions to continue crafting golden dice and rainbow dice. Keep an eye on your potion count and don't be afraid to farm more when you're running low. Upgrading to max and index benefits. Once you've gathered enough potions and coins, it's time to unlock the final upgrades in the game. While some upgrades may seem overpriced, looking at you, super expensive hoverboard, they're worth it in the long run. Plus, unlocking the final upgrades can give you a sense of completion and allow you to focus on crafting potions and farming more efficiently. Also, don't forget to check your index regularly. The index refreshes every 30 minutes and you can get random potions from it every 10 minutes. It's an easy way to keep your potion supply stocked up without having to farm nonstop. Final thoughts and parting tips. There you have it, the absolute best farming methods in Pets Geo. Whether you're playing actively or AFK farming with Tiny Task, these strategies will help you gather loot faster and more efficiently. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more farming tips, guides, and updates on the latest Roblox games. And remember, always save your Instaluck 3s for when you have enough cocktail potions. That's when you'll see the biggest rewards. Good luck with your farming, and let us know in the comments what kind of loot you've been getting. Happy farming, and see you in the next video.